good to be home. Andresia, thank goodness. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock, or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Another realist has joined our ranks. I'm outnumbered. The truth hurts, Mateo. Don't look at me. You two already know my flag is firmly planted in the science camp. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Thank you, but it was not necessary. We. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can. But I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open.
And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Collective space, maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City. Good to see you. Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Managed to carry all that. Yes. Can I get an invoice? Would you need one of those? As long as it's written and signed, it could be on a loaf of bread. I wish all the pods worked like Aquila City. No nonsense. Hey, what can I do for you? Anything I can help you with? Looks to me like you're already in pretty good shape. I'm sure you can find something you like. What? Ah, yes, we are done. Hold it. City. By order of Marshal Seems Daniel like I Blake, I need to inform you we've got some place. trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. I know you. You're Sam Coe. Marshal will be damn glad to have another Freestar Ranger helping out. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well... I doubt those robbers are going to let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move this situation along. You got me. If you make a move toward the building, a hostage dies. 
You planning to tell me your demands at some point? You find someone we can trust and maybe we will. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do with that? You need to stand back now. I don't mean to be rude, but I don't know you. Now, please, stand back. Aquila City at its finest, I see. Never a dull moment. Well, I'll be damned. Sam Cole. Been a long time. I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again. Uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to. Whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also... There are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending in a negotiator, so don't shoot. Hands where I can Turn see him, and don't try nothing. Joke. Negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. We'll cooperate when we get what we want. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? <laughs> I don't know you, so why should your word mean anything to me? So ready to get out of here. I... I see what you mean. Well... I guess you have a point. I guess that's true. This is over. I'm never setting foot in a bank again. Okay. I can see you're not just the marshal's tool. You want what we want. A nice, happy ending where nobody gets hurt. So let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? What, do you think we want to stay locked up in here? Hell no! Oh hell, the Freestar Rangers have got ships. They can give us one of them. <sighs> this whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just, let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? Damn it, I didn't think of it that way. Maybe you're right. Nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives.
Yeah, it would be a lot worse. None of us want to be murderers. Things just got out of control. None of us wants a murder rap. You're right. The last thing we want is blood on our hands. Nobody's been hurt. So maybe the judge won't come down too hard on us. Yeah. I think this has gone on long enough. You go tell the marshal we'll come quietly. You'd make a decent ranger with the way you handled that. What's the word? Well, I'll be a son of an Ashta. <laughs> How'd you pull that off? Considering those are Shaw's people, that's damn near a miracle. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbag, see if we can get those maps. Oh, these days, I hardly see my husband at all. Marco! It's okay. I just need a minute. Thank you for saving my husband. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad part, too. Solomon Cole really all that. Some make it seem like he built the whole damn free star collection by himself. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not gonna be on a slate. Big bundles of paper. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Now we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. Yeah, you're right. Let's do this. Stop wouldn't be the Charybdis system, would it? We got a report of a distress call out there, but we don't have the shift to send someone that far out. Have you heard of the Elements Retreat? It's supposed to be some new age healing center for reforming criminals. Going up in Ixel too. finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? 
realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. My own father's trying to keep those maps from me. <sighs> yeah, I was done too. What is it this time, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Maybe so. You really believe that, don't you? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room here. Key. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shaw Gang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave.
Just don't tell Cora about this one. right?
You heard that, Red? done this before, right? Well, they don't need it. rock collecting when she was eight. 
Not so much anymore. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. Huh. The Shaw Gang's name in print outside a wanted poster does sound nice. <laughs> so what? By morning tomorrow, we're gone anyway. There's nothing to talk about. I've already made myself clear. Sick of trading words with you. Kill them! Damn it! Just shoot everything!
mess with me and my friends? Ah! The dead ain't glamorous, but it sure is profitable. We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lot. And we're off. stable. Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Core is on your ship. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next.
Ready to take off, Captain. Got something for me? Hey, how are you? Corco, that room of yours better be clean next time I go in there. I'll get to it, Dad. I promise. This ain't my getting around to a tone. You understand? Ugh. Fine, fine, okay. This Orbital insertion completed. Ready to land. You've got something uh, for me? I got some stuff on my mind. Always. The time. Point the way and we'll be off. Switching me out for the big boss, huh? I see how it is. Well, of course. How else do you expect anything to be done correctly? I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse than Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied with the results.
the anomaly. It's gigantic. Oh, look at that architecture. reacting to our presence. Those rings in particular. Very rarely use that word for anything. We need to get you looked at back at the lodge.
something for you when you have a moment. We have lived on. doesn't it? I picked up something you might be interested in. Perhaps we should check in with Matteo or Noel. Craig's bones. Look at you. If you don't mind, I'm gonna start doing some scans. Like, right now. We were right about the anomaly, weren't we? Tip our ears on the tail. An entire building generating a signature just like the artifact. Um, Vladimir? Look at these readings. Cardiovascular and neurological levels aren't in the normal range. I think we're going to need a little demonstration. Mind putting the paces to it? Everyone saw that, right? Like a literal gift from the heavens. And also the most practical consequence of our little venture thus far. Got no old shipwise for this one. Going to just call weird, weird. So we have artifacts, a temple, and this power. All connected. More questions than answers. Can we find more of them? Already picked one up from the scans. Matches another one of the artifacts we found. In theory. There might be one temple for each. But sifting through all the signs to identify a match is tricky. Impossible if we don't have the right artifact to compare. And even then, it takes time. Don't think it's just Fortune's laugh that this temple responded to you. The artifacts, the visions, this power you've gotten... All seems to be the same song somehow. Plenty to think about. Anyway... Catch a smile out there. I'll work on finding planet anomalies that match the other artifacts we have. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited.
Have a good time in Neon. to make this place livable is Smell astounding. That? Construction. It's no end what can be accomplished chemicals when there become. are credits to be but made. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. Quite true, but also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. cares far more about what you take with you when you leave me on than what you bring into it. Don't move, Nesha! What was this about? Cut the act. Snippers picked up your... Sensory overload. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has it. Clearly, the intent is to get us into the Astral Lounge. Shall we follow the signs? very proud of his business and he should be his ships are very high quality we didn't know you were coming in it's all right i just need to have a short chat with my counterpart is she in today yes uh, allow me to bust you in sir walter isa shall we continue from last time the luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. Oh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. 
Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork if he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage? Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? It's because they have little outpost them. Ugh. I do not understand how anyone can tolerate the lights and the music for long. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. Of course, completely at your discretion. Come back soon.
I never had the patience for computer systems. Not in the mood. Say hello to my wife, Rosa. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Oh, I don't have a problem with his place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure. If all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay, I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were on. They're just kids having fun. Don't kid yourself. New Will's goods. We have everything you.
succeed at that before we are discovered. run into some trouble. Word to the wise? You don't want a piece of that. <laughs> Is everything ready? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Go get yourself a drink. It's time to party. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Pardon. The music is amazing! I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Hey, no fun. 
funny stuff with that boost pack. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing... is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? I suppose that is ours now, eh? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? I'm listening. Nobody wants that. I'm trying to be reasonable here. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment.
things can keep from killing each other. I just might have a good day. Take it easy. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. It's ridiculous. I hear something. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Never a good sign. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Hmm. Maybe I can see if he has just a moment. That's what I'm hoping. I'm still willing to talk. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Security is on full alert. No point sleeping you are noticed now. You have to fight your way to the exit. worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets.
Hold on. Trying to shut down that robot remotely. Got it. Oof. They're scrambling the protocols. I doubt that'll work again. What over here? Best you can do. <laughs> Die today. Where have they gone? anything useful behind. Outside. You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you.
Did they have anything of value?
Spoils of victory. Hopefully they amount to something. Coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. I, indirectly. Have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my office is quite the opportunity. How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting, was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. If that is your decision, you need only tell him yourself, and then we will handle the rest. Assuming there is no information we are lacking, that seems reasonable. My security brought Musgrove to my office. I'm sure seeing you again will be a fine conclusion to your previous business. I have an opportunity to spare a man's life. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Oh, no. 
you. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Please, I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all, even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I... Thank you. Use this opportunity to alter the trajectory of your life. You may not receive another chance. A rare moment of compassion for this city. Very well. I'll clear things up with the authorities. You're free to go. Time to go. Let's talk more back at the ship. This was a good meeting. Very productive. over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. Looking for some feel like making a purchase? To, no problem. I'm sure you'll find something you like. Tell everyone you know about our store. Hey there, Need something? Good. Hill for a cup of coffee right about now. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? I agree. This life suits both of us, don't you think? Hopefully the effort required here was unique. I do not wish to make a habit of this. Oh no! A great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive me. Pressure holding. Take off your support. Complete. Orbit stable. 
steady. You hold something you have no right to. My people have killed for this. But I will offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. Oh, that's not any type of ship I recognize. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. I do not recall that we asked your permission. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! sensors. Agreed, we should not delay. spend as much time here as some of the others, but I appreciate that I was still given my own room. How is Neon? Are you... are you okay? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. Call themselves the Star Wars. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. Are we ignoring the obvious here? heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just going to say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. 
Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone, and be careful out there. I'd like to talk to you about something. You have a chance. Oh, sore. On too many squats. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation.